over the place. Oh, wait. Every second counts. Nope, it hasn't started yet. Okay. Now every second counts. Okay, so hi, I'm Shelly, and I'm here because I want to get you really excited about doing art with technology, or technology with art, which is basically the goal of a group that I'm a part of. In fact, I am the dork overlord of Dorkbot, um, where we integrate technology, science, and art. This is a really exciting area. I'm a part of it because I am that person. I'm a scientist. I am a technologist, a technophile, and I'm an artist. And when I first met Dorkbot a few years ago, I thought, oh my god, this is the place for me. And I am hoping that some of you here will also have that reaction. It's a worldwide organization, grassroots, which means anyone can start a Dorkbot chapter if they want. Um, started in New York, it's only been seven years, 90 worldwide. Um, in Seattle, there are about six, 60 people or 600 people who are a part of the mailing list. Who are we? Artists, designers, engineers, students, scientists. We're meeting once a month and we are doing a yearly art exhibit. And our goal is kind of the goal here, right? Where we want to share, collaborate, get together, get to know each other, um, do exciting things. This is the website. I really encourage you guys to go check it out. Um, lots of information about you know upcoming meetings, a lot of uh, sort of history. It's very well archived, but then also information about the meetings themselves. And there are a couple people here um, who are in this meeting, which is um, uh, about Ariel um, uh, Kite. And this one over here is about RFID. This one here is about, I just want to give you an overview. What kind of uh, stuff is, are at these dork club meetings? Um, this one here is all about fire in art and killing people almost with technology in art. <laughs> This is a really exciting one, like interactive. Um, RFID tags, this guy actually had a live implant put into his hand at our Dorkbot meeting. Um, and there is, a, in that same context, a lawyer talking about the legal implications of RFID and somebody talking about you, everybody walking around RFID badges and what does that mean. Um, Tesla coils, I am so amazed at the number of people on this planet who want to make their own Tesla coil. <laughs> something like, I don't know, 40 or 50 people who came up with their own custom Tesla coil at this meeting. Another thing we do um, is a yearly show called People Doing Strange Things with Electricity. All of you should be doing strange things, hopefully, I assume, with electricity. And you should be a part of this show. And we're um, aiming to have another one in six months. But I wanted to give you an idea of what it's like. Last year we had 1,200 people walk through COCA. Um, here's a list of the artists on the wall. This is very fast. Um, <laughs> um, uh, it was a juried show with about 30 artists. Um, and then now just showing you a few types because I want you to really see what's the kind of art that is represented by Dorkbot and why it's so cool and why you should be thinking about what you're going to be making for the next Dorkbot show. Um, these guys are creatures that walked around and bumped into the wall and shivered when you got near. This is ferrous metal that they changed underneath the electrical charge so that the pattern sort of evolved over time. It was really quite remarkable. This is actually just a small set. It was quite big. Um, this is a, a piece where they had inside LEDs um, that kind of rotated and moved and all that. And then as you touched it, it responded to your touch. So it was, a, it was a touch sensitive. Um, this was a laser wall Right, that you can interact with. This is a guy who's bisecting the laser walls. He walks through it. It was quite fun, and they had a little smoke by it, so you could really see it. I, lo I love lasers. Um, <laughs> this, is a, this is an LED panel that actually was programmed so that it, it, there's a shadow that walked across it. You could see, and so this is pretty much kind of what it looked like. The shadow walked across it, but it was pointed up at the wall. This is the winner last year. It's grass on the wall, individually grown pieces of grass that were programmed with microcontrollers to be a wave. Shut up. <laughs> yeah, no, this is the winner last year. There's a prize. It's a fabulous one. This was a piece of fabric that when you touched it, the LED panel at the top lit up in the pattern that you were touching it because your skin's conductive.
lit, lit interactive electronic fabric. <laughs> um, we had after party afterwards. We tried to incorporate a lot of the themes of Dorkbot. So these are um, these guys do live PA. They're actually this is, they're they're a, a, a band. A, I don't know musicians who just basically play music by twisting knobs. This is a, a, a VJ. Um, I want you all to get involved. Join uh, our monthly meetings. Be, uh, uh, think about making something. Curate. Uh, uh, we potentially you could curate one of our meetings. Become involved with our, our yearly show. And. Sorry, sorry. <laughs>